I am in the kitchen. We're doing some good old cooking. I'm not much of a cook, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best today. Today I have with me <laughs> Brad Katz. Welcome to the show, hey, Brad. Thank thanks, you for John. being here. Thanks for having me. You're making some cool stuff for me today. Yeah. For us today. And exactly. From the Katz Cafe on J Street. That's right. Okay. So yep. what are we making today? Well, first we're gonna start out. It's Thursdays. So we're, okay. we're going to start making by quesadillas. So um, Thursday is quesadilla day. Quesadilla day. All right. Every single Thursday. So okay. it's a really simple thing that I think everybody can make at okay. home. Um, what I wanted to do is bring in some things that everybody can make at home as a quick, easy dinner okay. that um, they can really enjoy. So we're just going to start. So quesadilla does sound like a simple type meal to make. Yeah, so. it really is. A yeah. lot of people eat it like an, as an appetizer at certain restaurants or whatever. Does um, it take practice to make a good quesadilla? It doesn't really, nah. No? It's, it's a pretty simple thing. So it's, it's hard to make a bad quesadilla. Pretty much. Because I think you can put anything you want in it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can really start by, uh, today we're making vegetarian quesadillas. Cool. Which is going to have uh, black olives, tomatoes, mm -hmm. and also uh, green peppers. But if you like something spicy, you put some jalapenos in. Or mm -hmm. Let's say you want chicken, you just dice up some chicken, put some, si some spices in there. Okay. Put them together. So it's, really, it's a really simple, simple thing that I think anybody can, really can make and they can adjust to what they like. And they they can like do it spicy. At home. At no home very simple. Yep. You can do it mm -hmm. on your stove. We're actually going to be using just a griddle. Um, a griddle to just make a this? portable griddle you can get anywhere. And, okay. Um, so tell us what ingredients do we need for this? Okay. First of all, we're using uh, these corn tortillas. I like using the corn ones okay. uh, because they're a little bit more authentic. They have okay. uh, a nice kind of uh, taste to it compared to the flour. And okay. sometimes people are actually allergic to the flour, oh, so really? they can't have the they can't have that. So the corn actually works out really well as an alternative. A lot of people are like gluten, um, they have to have gluten free things. So, okay, so those, we're going to start with the quesadilla. The, the, corn. The, the, the corn wraps, we can get those at a local supermarket? Yeah, any, any grocery store okay. usually carries them, um, usually like in the bread area or okay. in the Is there a certain section. size that is well, more preferable? I like using the smaller ones. This is the okay. only size you can get for the corn for the most part. Okay. It's called, it's a six inch um, okay. round. Um, but there are like the large flour ones. If people do prefer the flour, they can just buy the large burrito style wrap. Mm -hmm. They also have flavored ones that you can get sometimes. They have, you know, there's spinach and then maybe cilantro or jalapeno flavored ones. So you can really, really change it up just depending on what your likes are. Whatever your taste yeah, is. Yeah, okay, exactly. So we also need some cheese. So yep. We have a, I usually use a Monterey Jack cheese. Okay. Um, it's blended with cheddar cheese and it's just, I try and go with the really thin shreds because that makes it a lot easier. It melts quicker because mm -hmm. this is something that's going to be really quick and easy for people to make. So that's something that um, it'll melt fast. You put it in there. It has a nice creamy texture, but yeah, it has a little cheddar, a little bit of the cheddar cheese taste in there too. Because Monterey Jack is And that you get in a package at the supermarket yep. as well. Same thing. All the stuff mostly you can get at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, today, because we're using tomatoes, what I did is I diced up some, some tomatoes. So finely cut tomatoes. Rup, finely okay. cut, finely diced. Okay. Also, same thing, just some green peppers, finely, finely diced green peppers as well. And then some olives, which I still have to dice up. I just brought them in. You can get okay. them in a can, just drain off the water or the juice that they put them in. Okay. And then you just dice them up. That way, every bite gets a flavor, gets okay. the same flavor. So we have our olives, our cheese, yep. our tomatoes, peppers, yep. and the wraps. And the wraps. The wraps. Yep. Okay, so once we have our ingredients, what's the first step to making a quesadilla? Well, the first step is you want to um, take a little bit of butter. You can use your favorite spray stuff if you want. Uh, like there's all different alternatives out mm -hmm. there if, if butter isn't what you're, you know, you're looking for. If you're trying to be a little bit healthier. I just take a little bit of butter, put it all over the griddle. You want to make sure the griddle's up, up to as high as you can go so it'll, it'll brown it faster. Um, we're going to take these uh, corn tortillas. We're just going to lay them flat. Okay. Right down on the griddle. So you make three or four at once. This is actually going to be one. Um, it's going to be one. Two quesadillas total, because we're going to sandwich the two sides together. Oh, okay. So it's kind of neat, actually. Oh, okay. You take a little bit of the cheese. We're just going to put the cheese on both sides. Don't worry about it getting too messy. Either. It's not a big deal. The best, you know, it's it's better. The best part is that that cheese that gets overcooked on the side. You know, that's the best. You get all those flavors. So you can always just scoop it up, put it in there. No harm done. So is this a favorite? This is actually a really, it's a big favorite. It's mm -hmm. one that I like a lot. Um, our customers, um, they, they really look forward to Thursdays. They'll come in on Thursday morning and say, yeah, it's quesadilla day. They'll get <laughs> coffee in the morning and come back for lunch. Mm -hmm. So it's really neat. So uh, is this something that's enjoyable to make because it is simple? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those quick and easy things that everyone can um, tune and make the way they like it. I'm just putting the tomatoes in. Okay, now we add the tomatoes. Now, how long have you been cooking? I've actually been cooking for 
Man, since, since I was really young, I would cook at home. Um, you know, my mom worked a lot and my family kind of, we always took turns cooking or everyone would cook their favorite dish or something like that. But uh, in high school, I started working at a pizza shop okay. and I started cooking there and I really enjoyed it. And I just kind of decided that's what I really like to do and what I'd like to continue to do. Now with this, don't be afraid to just get on in there. I mean, just wa make sure you wash your hands before you start. Get everything clean, that's very important. So you keep everybody healthy and happy. But you can just put the peppers right in there, just like that. So kind of like mixed together. Like yeah, you, you want all the flavors to come together really nice. Mm. We're just going to take some of these. The, the olives. Well. The olives. And whatever you like. I mean, like I said, you can put jalapenos in, just dice them up, put them in. Um, you could put um, really anything. There's just a lot of variations. So our, what kind of meats are used for this, for the meat lovers? A lot of times we use a chicken. We'll, use, chicken. we'll make like a, a buffalo chicken quesadilla. We mm -hmm. also make a grilled chicken variety, which okay. is really neat. It's actually something that... Um, it's buffalo chicken. I've had Buffalo it. chicken. Yeah, you can so. get it at the store. Yeah. You just dice it up the same way as we did the aisles right there. Okay. Just put it right in. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. Now these just tend to brown pretty quickly. Um, see how the cheese is kind of melting on the top here? Mm -hmm and all the flavors are together. We're just looking for everything to melt together, and then we just take it and you're gonna sandwich it together. Don't be afraid to push down on it so all the flavors come together. And then So it's very you grilled, it's not, it's not oily, it's not something that's right. that, like a fried food. Exactly. And I know you don't make fried food. Right, we don't do anything, anything fried, no, yeah. um, nothing in the deep fryer. And you know, we just try and serve... Well, grilled is much healthier. Oh yeah, it really is. Because you can control how much butter you use or, mm -hmm. like I said, you can use the health conscious uh, spray oils or, you know, really whatever you wanted. Um, but it's a very, very healthy dish um, because you put all those vegetables in it. You know, people are always concerned about how they eat and what they eat and how it works. But, you know, by getting all the vegetables and stuff, you're getting a little bit of cheese, of course but you're also, you get all the extra vitamins and nutrients from the different vegetables. So it's really neat to So it's kind of like everything in one thing. <laughs> right, this is great for kids, I think. Um, you know, they can help out or they can just really enjoy it because I think a lot of people, you know, they're worried about what to give their children. This is definitely something you can have for your children because, you know, first of all, it's quick. Second of all, everybody likes finger food and that's basically what this is. You're right. gonna be dipping it in like some salsa. These are done at this okay, point. Okay, let me try some. Let's okay. see what I think. I mean, I've, I've, been there, I've been there before and had them, but we'll see how they taste today. All right. I already know they taste No good, pressure. So. No pressure. <laughs> so what I actually do is I just take a sharp knife. You know, any knife will do it. This, is, this seems fancy, but it works. You just put them on the cutting board, and you're just going to cut them. You can hear them kind of, they're kind of crispy, which is nice. Crispy. That's okay. what we're looking for. You I'll throw some. You want to dip? Go I'll for try. it. We actually have some uh, sour cream and salsa that you can dip them in if you're into that, or mm. you can eat them just like that. Just a good salsa or a good sour cream. You know, it's just something, you, again, you get in the store, you don't have to worry about making anything. You're just putting it together so everyone can enjoy it. What do you think? Very good. Is that good or what? Yeah, very good. Cool. I'm glad you liked it. So, now, I'll, what's it like having a business in Schenectady? It's actually a lot of fun. Is it? You know, Schenectady is great because there's, there's so much potential. And mm -hmm. actually, I've been there for a little over five years now. So, five years Which is years amazing. Ago. Yeah. So, five years ago, you opened this, this place. Right. And uh, what made you want to come to Schenectady? Well, are you I, from Schenectady? I've lived in Schenectady for a long time. Okay. I've actually lived here for over 10 years. I currently live in the Stockade, which you know is really cool because you can walk around and just check out everything. A lot of small businesses. Um, but I came to Schenectady because I knew that there was so much potential, and I also knew that it was, you know, working out quickly. You know, things were going to happen, and um, I really wanted that small town feel. And I think that's what you get in Schenectady. And, you know? and it's a quick walk to work, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm just a couple blocks away. Just a couple blocks yep. away. If so. I ever want to go in, uh, you know, it's really nice. nice and what do you think live. about the growth? I mean, now we have the oh. movie theater that, that was just put in. We yep. have more restaurants coming in. Does it help you ultimately when, when there's more businesses built oh, in? Oh, totally. It's Does great. It? You know, I, I love it when I hear a new business opening. Restaurant, you know, retail. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a bunch of stuff happening right now. And it's really cool because... Everybody helps each other out. It's really a community with the businesses down here. Which and I'm, it's more jobs for the community absolutely. as well. The and more the businesses. more jobs are the more people, the more people that need to be mm -hmm. fed, and I love it. You and know? it's beautiful to see something you know, small grow into something. Yeah, know. absolutely. It's like a plant. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Blooming. 